Lista and welcome to Stockholm. <laughs> Thank again. you. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. It's been well, a while. Yeah, last time was in Malmö. Yes. It's a couple of months ago. Yes. And now you are in Stockholm to participate in Stockholm Pride. Yes, I'm really honored. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and I um, see that you are well prepared. Yes. Uh, what is this? Pride nails. Look wow. at this Pride. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we also performed in Helsinki Pride, uh -huh. and now Stockholm Pride and Amsterdam Pride. Oh, so that's your new business? Yes, <laughs> it's my new business. No, but it feels really great because um, Helsinki Pride was the best gig so far this summer. It was really great. <laughs> and uh, how is your life now after Eurovision? Oh, it's been crazy. I've had so many great gigs and I'm doing uh, uh, concerts, mostly in Finland, but with my Ding Dong band and the Ding Dong girls. and. Uh, it's really nice. A lot of a lot of shows and uh, gigs, and it's just the way I want it to be. Did you suffer from any uh, post Eurovision depression? Uh, yes, always a little, because it's always really depressing when something fun ends. And it was so long. It was the whole spring. It started in the autumn already with the UMK and the whole the whole spring. So of course it was a bit boring when it all just ended. But but uh, if you think about Eurovision now, how important has it been for your career? Have you got a new fan base, for example, yes. because of Eurovision? Yes, yes. Uh, I have so many new fans and they would never have found me if it wasn't for Eurovision. So around in Europe, hi everybody, <laughs> I'm sending kisses to you now. Uh, so yes, a lot of new fans and then awesome gigs like Stockholm Pride, like Amsterdam Pride and I was also in London performing in the Big Brother UK show. Oh yeah, so, how was that? Yeah, it was really crazy, <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> but all these gigs came because of Eurovision, so I'm really grateful for that. And um, uh, what about uh, the attention that you got during Eurovision because you were kissing one of the Ding Dong yes. girls and it was <laughs> a lot of fuss about this. <laughs> What happened afterwards? <laughs> um, well, I, I don't. I don't think it was anything bad. It was just good things about it, and um, I got. I received a lot of fan mails, and people were thanking us for doing it, and it, it means a lot to to many people. And uh, yeah, I'm still fighting for gay rights in Finland and trying to do my best. And um, yeah, and um, uh, what? Now you are here for Stockholm Pride, and you also have been. You have Amsterdam. Um, have you become a kind of a new gay icon? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, I would love that. Uh, I, I think it's really fun to perform in the Pride festivals. I don't know, it's so... The people are just so happy and uh, full of love and they're just celebrating and it's been really fun and I'm looking forward to today's show. Mm. And you have performing um, a lot in Finland as well. Yes. And you have been touring around the whole summer as yes. far as I heard. How, how has that's so completely different, I suppose, with yeah. the band and everything? Well, it's so nice because now I get to do my own thing. I get to, to perform and sing my own songs, and I, I have a fantastic band with me and all the Ding Dong girls, and we have so much fun together. And I get to do the show the way I want to. And what is happening now after this, uh, after the summer? Yeah. Uh, what, what is coming up? For uh, you? Well, I'm going to write new songs in uh, autumn and I'm going to do also continue doing gigs around mostly in Finland. But if you invite me somewhere else, I will come, of course. <laughs> um, and uh, then I'm also going to be um, one of the judges in uh, The Voice of Finland Kids. Oh. Yes. So I'm looking forward to that. That's something completely different. Yes, it is. But uh, it's really, I'm really excited for that. And the kids are excited. Yeah. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. And um, uh, I have one question to do with that I'm very curious about, yes. and I suppose that a lot of fans are too. What happened with your boyfriend? Friend? <laughs> Has he proposed yet? No, he hasn't. Look. Oh my. No it's ring. My no, 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 no ring. I don't know. I just. What happened? happened? I think it's because I'm You're so busy. busy. <laughs> so I'm not even at home, you know, he doesn't have the time to propose because I'm always around and he's like, <laughs> he hasn't had the time. Uh, and but you, uh, yeah, maybe, you maybe I should do it. But um, it's really fun because I have uh, been on a friend's wedding and my brother's wedding this summer and stuff like that. So 
I'm really fed up with weddings right now. I need a break and then I can maybe get married later. <laughs> without but, a, without the, a wedding dress. Yes, but I'm exhausted, you know. I've been jumping around in that dress and, and performing on everybody's weddings and <laughs> I think I need a break. <laughs> I can imagine that. Yeah. Well, anyhow, I suppose that you will be singing Marry Me uh, a few more times during the yes. upcoming events. Yes, I will. And I, I, I still love singing that song because it's so fun when people are singing with me. And uh, it's always uh, it's always a great feeling in the audience when the Marry Me song begins. So, Krista, thank you for coming to Stockholm. Thank and you. I wish you all the best for, for the coming uh, concerts. And uh, I'm sure we will see each other Yes, so, sooner, or, sooner, sooner or later. <laughs> yes, thank have you a, so much. Have a good show tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah.